So because of the amazing response to the last video that I recorded on changes to LastPass for users on the free subscription plan, I decided to record a follow-up. So firstly, thank you to everybody that contributed. In that video, I offered a couple of recommendations for users that want to move away from LastPass, and they were Bitwarden and the Microsoft Authenticator app. And if you didn't catch that video, I'll put a link down in the description below. There was a really interesting discussion on everything from encryption to limitations of the Microsoft Authenticator app and biometric support for Bitwarden on Android. FreshN9 pointed out some of the limitations with the Microsoft Authenticator app and working with multiple subdomains. Ishii talked about the lack of end-to-end -end encryption with the Microsoft Authenticator app, although I do want to follow up on that in a future video. So one of the reasons that I wanted to create this video was because of a mistake I made that Strainter pointed out and many others of you that I said the Bitwarden Android app had a bit of a usability issue in that it didn't support unlocking the password vault using biometric authentication. Now, in fact, it does, but it's not enabled by default. So you need to go into the app and in settings under security, you can change it so that you can unlock your password vault using biometrics, so that means a fingerprint or maybe facial recognition, whatever your device supports. And of course that's important because especially when you're using a mobile device, you don't want to have to type in a long and complex master password every time that you want to unlock your vault. So I just wanted to set that straight in this video. And the second reason, and probably the main reason, is that I want to show you how easy it is to export your passwords from LastPass and to import them into Bitwarden. And I'm going to show you how to do that now in two easy steps. So let's head over to the PC. So here I am logged into LastPass in the browser window and you can see that I have two passwords set up in my vault. So I want to export them and all I need to do is come down to advanced options in the bottom left hand side of the screen and click on it. And under Manage Your Vault, I've now got the option to export the passwords. So I'm going to click Export, and a new browser tab will open up. And before I can export the passwords, I need to confirm my LastPass master password. So I'm going to confirm that here by typing it into the box. And now all I need to do is hit Submit. And then after a few seconds, my exported passwords will appear in the browser window. Here you can see that I have the two vault entries and they're formatted as a comma delimited file. Now all I need to do is to copy this information out of the browser window. So I'm going to press Ctrl A to select everything and then Ctrl C to copy that to the clipboard. So I'm going to switch over to Bitwarden and you can see here that I have an empty vault. To import those passwords from LastPass, all I need to do is come to Tools and then select Import Data. Now in the drop down menu here, I just need to select the format that I want to import. So of course that is LastPass. So let's select that. Now all I need to do is to copy the exported passwords from the clipboard into this box. And I'm going to do that by just pressing Ctrl and V and then I'm going to click Import Data. And now you can see those two passwords have been imported into my Bitwarden vault. So that's it, it really is that simple. If you found the content in today's video valuable, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know more about how to use Bitwarden and Microsoft Authenticator, please subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments below what you think about the different password managers and which you prefer. So that's it from me for now and I'll see you next time.